Carlos in Medellin, Colombia writes, he says, Paul, how have uh, evolved the way that recording music is done? Oh, okay, I got it. So, <laughs> how has recorded music evolved? Let's compare. For example, a record from the 70s to one of 2022. The differences are huge. What's changed? Thank you. Regards from Colombia, South America. Ha! Well, South America is a, a country I've always wanted to visit and turns out, here's an aside from Paul, we are traveling to um, South America and Peru in March. So I'm really looking forward to that. We're going to go do all the normal tourist stuff, go up and see Machu Picchu, and uh, that's it just really going to be fun. Get some hiking in. And that's going to be cool. So how has recording changed since the 1970s? I was just watching, Terry and I were just watching the um, If These Walls Could Speak, and it was Paul McCartney's daughter, Mary. It's, what is, oh, it's on Disney. And yeah, I know. We, <laughs> I finally quit HBO because I, everything on it is so violent. I just, yeah, we're, we're Disney, a bit of Netflix, <laughs> Ted Laszlo. I mean, that, that's our, our mode of, of watching. We like fun things. Anyway, that's all about Abbey Road. It was really cool to see all of that. The biggest changes were probably in the way things were recorded. So look, look at this old machine here. This is a half inch. Uh, this is part of Gus's collection up here. And this is a half inch tape machine. It's um, in its day. It was the way you mastered from maybe a 16 track version down to this two track master and it was all on tape and tape has a sound to it that's very different than the way we record mostly today which is digital so I think that's probably the biggest change one of the change that I will mention uh, that gets me in a lot of trouble so why not <laughs> trouble is my middle name is what my mother used to say producers of records are so different today. Many are indie, which is great, and there are some great producers today, of course, but back then, in the 70s and 80s, at the beginning of all of this, there were people who spent their life, George Martin, great example, uh, from the Beatles, um, just tons of other examples, but there was a whole different breed of producer back then that directed the way recordings were made, the way artists performed, etc. It was much more of a machine back then. And then after all the stuff with starting with Napster, which I still think is cool. I mean, we'll talk about Napster some other day. I mean, it was so disruptive, so cool. I'd love to meet the guy that, that did that. And all of that D evolution or the evolution but the the um, what am I trying to say uh, how it tore everything apart I'm struggling with my words today sorry probably because he's old <laughs> no doubt so that changed a lot and then along with it came digital audio and along with that came home studios came the ability to do all sorts of things that we could have never done with tape machines. So I think those are the biggest changes. And as things have evolved, there's still companies like PS Audio, like Octave Records, where we cling to the old values of production values, of quality of making great, great recordings using state-of-the-art equipment. I mean, look, this in its day, was state-of-the-art. At Octave Records, today, we use state-of-the-art equipment, which isn't this, but our goals are the same. We want to turn out masterpieces. And I think we're getting, getting close, getting there. All right, thanks for the question. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.